A national hero of the Philippines is a Filipino who has been recognized as a national hero for his or her role in the history of the Philippines. Heroes are those who have a concept of nation and thereafter aspire and struggle for the nation's freedom. Heroes are those who define and contribute to a system or life of freedom and order for the nation. And heroes are those who contribute to the quality of life and destiny of a nation. Aside from Jose Rizal, Andres Bonifacio, Emilio Aguinaldo, Apolinario Mabini, Marcelo H. Del Pilar, Sultan de Patu and Kudarat, Juan Luna, Melchor Aquino, and Gabriel A. Silang. I see the spirit of being national hero with Isabella de los Reyes y Florentino. Isabella de los Reyes y Florentino, also known as Don Bellong, was born on July 7, 1864, and he was died on October 10, 1938. He was a prominent Filipino politician, writer, and labor activist in the 19th and 20th centuries. He was the original founder of the Iglesia Filipina Independiente, an independent Philippine National Church. He is known as the father of Philippine folklore, the father of Philippine labor movement, and the father of Philippine socialism. I considered him as a national hero because throughout his life, he wrote and published multiple works in various subjects, such as history, folklore, politics, and religion. The best thing about Isabello, he recognized the value of the labor in our country by recognizing the first labor union, which is Obrera Democratica Filipina. As he fight for the right of the labor, he was changed violating a law prohibiting an organization to force the increase of wages and sentenced him to four months imprisonment. I admire his bravery and spirit of generosity by pursuing the labor union and see the substantial effort of a Filipino workers. I really acknowledge all the laborers here in our country who have an amount of physical, mental, and social effort used to produce goods and services in an economy. It simply means that without hard workers labor, our economy cannot grow further. Aside from that, he became a counselor and he worked on social welfare by formulating an ordinances push for pilavinization of the civil service and filed resolution urging immediate and absolute independence of the Philippines. As the criteria for Philippine national hero, he indeed have a concept of nation and thereafter aspire and struggle for the nation's freedom and prioritize the welfare of the Filipino people.